<clears throat> that uh, we were down about uh, 17, 18 overnight. Uh, the high was seen on the uh, U.S. Open at around 5.30 Pacific, right around 12.54.50. We tested that high of Friday. The low on Friday on the open here <coughs> was uh, right at the open at 1232.75. So we're pretty much back to that low of the Friday range uh, here, uh, touching 1236.50. We'll be back in a little bit to see how it all uh, plays out. And um, that is about it right now. So we'll be back for opening trade again. Fade. Fade move continues to work, and uh, we'll be back on the other side. Peace. All right, uh, <coughs> we are back here almost five minutes into the open. The range here at the top opened at 12.38 and a quarter here, and we have been straight down. 12.33 is our low, uh, 33 and a quarter. So a five point range, pretty wide opening uh, bar here. I'd, uh, I've got a buy stop in. <coughs> I've got a buy stop in here at uh, 12.40. For the next 15 minutes only until 6.50 and I'll put a sell stop in right now at around uh, 31.50. I'm going to sell uh, down in that area. Order pending. <coughs> so for the next 15 minutes uh, I will leave these orders. Those will be my opening orders for the day. See if we can break out of this opening range and uh, we'll go from there. Have a, a good start to trading day. Again, we tested, as you can see, I'm going to show real quick, the um, Monday lows, so or the Friday lows, excuse me, which were right here pre-opening uh, market here. We're right here at that same level, 3275 uh, at 630. So we're right back to those lows, but the lows Friday were down here at 1225. We may have some more work to go yet down there. Again, uh, we'll be waiting to see what plays out here. Uh, we've got sell stops in for the next 15 minutes at uh, 3150, and we got buy stops in at. Uh, 40, 1240 until uh, 6.50 a.m. here on the uh, Pacific. So we'll be back in a bit. Uh, we'll let you know if this uh, trade plays out. All right, we have added another uh, sell uh, here at 12.37.75. Uh, we're trading 34 as we speak. Any bounce up in here, I'm going to sell, and I will stop and reverse over 12.40 here. Only in the next 13 minutes now. No trades have triggered at this point. So we're down here at 31.50 offering on a stop, and we've got uh, a uh, trade above here at 37.75. And uh, we'll be back as the uh, trade begins or plays out. Thank you. All right, here we go. 6:40 a.m. and uh, we're still hitting, uh, testing the day's lows again here. Uh, 12.32.50. Um, again, a lot of the euro area is not contained. Uh, nothing should be surprising to traders there. Friday's action was very thin. Expiration for futures uh, began last week Thursday. We've got uh, options expiring this week. Uh, on the news front, nothing today. We've just got federal budget balance at 2 p.m. Eastern. And then we've got core retail sales and retail sales tomorrow. Inventories, FOMC talking tomorrow. And then uh, we've got OPEC meetings on Wednesday along with crude inventories. And then we've got uh, unemployment the, the soft unemployment claims on Thursday, CPI Friday, and a couple FOMC heads talking Friday. Pretty quiet out of the FOMC as it is holiday season. Um, that's it. Uh, News-wise, I think it's all Europe driving us again. Nothing new there. The dollar uh, right now is has been going up all day and continues to. And uh, it's as simple as follow the dollar power. And, and when the dollar goes up, all assets go down. Oil's down. Uh, now uh, two and a half bucks from the highs, and uh, we continue to uh, languish uh, in the U.S. markets, just following the euro market. So, euro markets open around midnight, <coughs> and it's been uh, nothing but straight down. And again, we were about 12:50 when uh, the euros opened, and uh, just continue to go down here, 12:33.50. No trades have triggered. It is 6:42. We'll be back in a little bit to. Uh, see if and when the trade uh, does trigger and we'll see you on the other side. Peace. Alright, we are back uh, trading uh, 12.32.75. Let's see if we can uh, hit this low here. Uh, we've made marginal new lows from the opening uh, but uh, not really pressing through. Again, uh, for another five minutes I've got orders in below on sell stops at 31.50. I'd add on any bounces to 37.75. 
or uh, play it the other way. If we uh, were to go 37.75, you want to be on the sell side right now until uh, you see it close uh, much higher. The pivot is above us, 12.47.08, uh, and um, S2 is in the crosshairs today, uh, 12.25, and again, that was the low the overnight low for Friday. So I would not be surprised to see at least a test of 1225 until or unless we see a reversal again above um, period moving average here above us, which uh, we'll see in time. So that's it for now. Again, no trades have triggered. It is 645, 15 minutes into the open, being patient, uh, waiting for moves. Volume is decent, 50,000 uh, per five minute bar here. Nothing great, but uh, uh, again, I don't see a heck of a lot shaking here. It uh, doesn't look like they're going to continue to have too much downside uh, at the moment, but uh, that's why you have your sell stop orders in. If they fill, uh, you take them and we'll go from there. All right, we are back uh, 649 and uh, we are going to take out the sell stop uh, as we're not going to hit that. We're still going to offer above here on a bounce to uh, 1237.75, so I'm going to kill, kill that order right there. Uh, still waiting, uh, very just grinding here on the bottom these last 15 minutes after the opening bar. Have been uh, really a, just a tight consolidation of 12.32 to uh, 35 and a quarter. So very tight in here. Uh, we are way oversold on a five-minute chart. <clears throat> and again, this market's tough on the follow-through. Let me look at a 10. Uh, you can see that we held that initial support, but I still have a feeling we're going to test this low down here of uh, 12.25, which is also the S2. I'd like to see a bounce to sell to. Otherwise, I'm going to miss a breakdown trade at this late juncture. We're 15 minutes into the day. I don't want to uh, add now, it's just my rules uh, after uh, 15 minutes if that breakdown hasn't occurred. Now let's qu quickly look at a 30 minute chart here. And uh, again, big fib here. You want to be bearish right now all the way up to you know probably this 12.49 uh, zone. So the bears are in control again this morning on a, on a 30 minute chart. Uh, the lows to the highs here the last five days as you can see. So. Uh, bearish up to 1249, but again, we're well below. So uh, you want to scale in. Pivots up here, 1247. Uh, everything is in line to be uh, shorting this morning if you can either get bounces or uh, play the range. So that is it. No trades ha are happening. Again, we are still uh, we're breaking down. You know, this 1240 area that we continue to you know break down. We broke down from last week on Thursday was bull was bearish, and then when we reversed Friday, went all the way up. Uh, almost 35 points and now we're right back in the middle of that range that 1222 <clears throat> if you were to take a quick look this 1222 range to the high of 1254 uh, on uh, Sunday night and you can see again we're sitting uh, the, the, the strong 618 is right here at 1235 and that's right where we're trading so first resistance uh, is here there's a number of reasons why we're holding here as you can see support from uh, the resistance uh, the high from uh, the past uh, again on Thursday is holding us but if this breaks again uh, I can see 1225 in the cards and we'll see how that plays out so that is it again uh, sitting patiently uh, no orders have filled at this point offering higher I may even move this down right now to this uh, 1236 area, see if we can't get a little off on the sell side. Uh, I'll, I'd leave a stop right now somewhere above that 1240, uh, so I'd sell basically 1236 to the 1240 area at this point. It is 1234.50. You can see that our order is out there. We'll be back in a little bit to uh, see if a trade uh, plays out for us. All right, uh, we have broken out of that range, 1231.50. Again, I took away a sell stop. Uh, if we trade down to that 1225, I may look for uh, buy opportunities later in the day. Uh, but uh, I, the low here on the open again was 33 and a quarter. So my original sell stop was at 31.50. I have not, uh, I'm not in the trade. I'm gonna watch this again. Look, was looking for some type of bounce, uh, at least to uh, the moving average to uh, sell. Got close, but uh, didn't get to it. I started at 37.75. Now I'm offering at 36. Uh, that may uh, pu prove uh, futile at this point. So we'll be back. And uh, right now, again, sitting patiently flat. All right, uh, 12.30.75. And again, our high off the open here was 12.38.50. That was our high print of the morning. It is 7.01 now. We've been open a half an hour. Didn't quite get the 50 to or 61.8 bounce that I was looking for off the initial uh, bar. Uh, our lows again were 32.50. We were looking initially at 31.50 to sell. 
the reason I did not was it was past that 15 minutes so it would have worked uh, the trade already has given you two points but again I did not take it uh, I'm looking for some type of bounce now uh, I'd say in the next half an hour 40 minutes if you can get a bounce again to that 1236 area just drawing a simple fib yeah somewhere in that 1235 36 area would probably be the go range right now 34 to 36 so here's what I'm gonna do I'm actually gonna add in another cell as we speak right here at 3375 Order and pending. Uh, let's see if we can't get a little bounce here in the next few minutes and uh, we will be back to see if this market which is oversold can get a little bounce all right All right, 7.06, and uh, we are oversold again, uh, hitting new lows, but I am going Order to cancel. kill some orders right now. Order cancel. Order cancel. As uh, it's Monday morning, and uh, the trades, uh, not much is happening. So, uh, again, the high this morning, 38 and a quarter, the low, uh, almost 10 points, and that's about the ranges we get on these opening market moves. However, we are now down 26 points. 38.50 to uh, 28.75, so we'll call it 36 points roughly. And we've got a little bit more to go to that S2, which is 12.25. And again, 12.25 is also the low from Friday's overnight action. So the, here's your support down in there. I'm not a buyer yet, nowhere near a buyer today, maybe this afternoon. We'll see where we are. But again, oversold on every time frame, but uh, oversold does not make me a buyer. Matter of fact, it makes me look for bounces to sell. So 12.30, we'll see where we are in a little bit. Watch this market. 12.30 uh, is the trade here. And uh, we're just going to wait and uh, be back to uh, lay out the trade as the day goes. Peace. All right, here we are, 721, trading 1227, dipped into the 26, is just uh, barely here at 2675. Uh, this 25 is definitely coming. I am not on board for this AM trade. Again, sell the rips, uh, as we said Friday, the hard trade to do, although I did not do it, was uh, to sell the Friday action. So that's where we are. <coughs> we are trading 1227 uh, as we speak, and again, this 1225 is in the cards. Again, we are way oversold. Uh, but it uh, looks like this uh, touch of the 25 will probably bring a higher low on the RSI. We dip down, uh, you know, down here to the 23 area, and I, I would suspect we're probably going to see a double bottom and bounce in uh, coordination with that uh, support level of 1225, which was the Friday low. Again, wh wh why this 1225? Two things, not only the S2, but the Friday low. This goes again, folks. We have gaps to fill, and we've been talking about this down here to that 1200 level and then below that 1188. So we mentioned this on Thursday. We had the crazy reversal. Uh, I think a lot of it was options, uh, futures options expiration on uh, last Thursday that uh, took us down and up. And uh, we'll see. Uh, again, uh, to me, this, this chart is broken. Uh, we broke it again. This is the second time under 1240. Uh, that 1240 area is key. Unless we can close over that again today, the bears remain in control as they were on Thursday. Friday was, uh, we didn't make a new high <coughs> Friday with that rally. Did not get back to that 1266 area. Only got to this 1254.50 area. So the premature bulls uh, got on board Friday, uh, as they like to do, and are getting it uh, thrown in their face today. And, and, and again, uh, just trade them here. Don't uh, stay too long, either bullish or bearish. It's too tough to do that right now. You want to just uh, keep to the sidelines, use your powder wisely and uh, sparingly. Uh, you don't have to trade a lot in a market like this. You can get a couple big trades. So we'll see if we get a trade this afternoon. Just wanted to lay it out. That's where we are. We're going to wrap this video up. No trade here this morning, 1227 and a quarter. Peace.